Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. This is the channel that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam in 2025. Now, after interviewing hundreds of students over the last couple of years, I realized they all had one thing in common that helped them pass the FE exam and even the PE exam, and that is consistency. So every year you tell yourself, this is the year I'm going to pass the FE exam. And so around New Year's, you start planning. And on your resolution list, you may include eating healthier, exercising more, spending more time with family, and passing the FE exam. And for the first couple of weeks, you're excited. You may get new notebooks and pens, and you start planning, and you feel ready to tackle your goals. But slowly, that initial motivation starts to fade. And you begin to forget about your goals and you start to tell yourself, you know what, I got a whole year in front of me to pass the FE exam. So I still got time. So you keep postponing it. You keep pushing it. Things come up and you're like, I'm going to do it after this event or after this trip. And before you know it, it's the end of the year and you find yourself in the same place as you were at the beginning of the year. And I get it. The FE exam can be scary at first. It is difficult and challenging and our bodies and minds are not wired to do things that make us uncomfortable. So it is natural to actually procrastinate, especially when we have to do something difficult. But here's the thing, guys. The one thing that's going to truly help you guys pass your FE exam this year is consistency. So how do you stay consistent? How do you keep showing up even when you don't feel like it or when you're tired or when things get hard? And so in this video, I'm going to share with you guys five proven tips that are going to help you guys stay consistent until you pass your FE exam this year. Tip number one, write FE 2025 everywhere. And let's start right here, guys. If you want to pass your FE exam in 2025, go ahead and comment below FE 2025. And then I want you guys to take sticky note and write FE 2025 on them. And I want you guys to put them everywhere, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your car, in your office, in your desk. These will serve as daily reminders that passing your FE exam is your biggest goal of the year. Now, here's the thing. It might take time to achieve this goal. And that's what discourages many people because everyone wants to get it done within a month or even less if they can. But remember, this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Now, I can actually relate to this, guys, because every time I start a project, I just want to get it done within a month or even less. But sometimes that's unrealistic. And so this year, I really had to learn to accept that. See, some, as some of you guys know, I had a baby girl last year and she has completely changed our lives. I mean, she's perfect. We're so grateful to have her and we love her so much. But let's be real. It is the hardest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of things, including starting my own business after quitting my engineering job. Now, having a baby had challenged every aspect of my life, my values, my relationships, and my productivity. And in some ways, I became more intentional with my time, but I also get less work done because I don't have as much time during the day. And that's been a tough adjustment. Now, my main goal for 2024 was to complete the FE Mechanical course and to launch the FE Other Disciplines course. And I only accomplished half of that goal. And you know what, guys? I'm totally okay with that. Because looking back, 2024 was filled with amazing memories. This is the year when my baby girl took, started crawling, took her first steps, and said her first words. Now, do I wish we had the FE Other Disciplines course done by now? Of course. But would I change anything about last year? Absolutely not. Now, when I was working on the chemistry section for the FE Other Disciplines course, it felt like I wasn't making that much progress because I was going very slow. But then two weeks ago, I finally finished it. And looking back, I am so proud of what I accomplished. And this is exactly why consistency, guys, matters. Because if you show up every day and dedicate two to three hours, those hours add up to 20 hours, 30 hours. And before you know it, you finish one subject, then two, and then eventually the entire morning session. So have sticky notes everywhere as 
your daily reminders, then commit to showing up every day. Keep moving forward. And one day you'll wake up and you realize you are 50% closer to passing your FE exam. And by the way, guys, we are going to launch the FE Outdoor Disciplines course soon. So we're going to launch it at the beginning of this year. So if you guys are interested in that course, make sure that you sign up here. And once we launch it, we'll send you guys an email. And also, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really supports the channel. Tip number two, check your progress weekly. Every Sunday, take time to reflect on your week and ask yourself, did I study for the FE exam and did I make any progress? And if the answer is no, then ask, what can I do next week to change that, to make sure that I show up and study? And then what's stopping me from studying? You know, it's very important that you figure out why you can't show up or why you don't want to show up to study. Maybe you're scared of failing the FE exam, or maybe you're struggling to understand the material. But identifying the problem, it's going to help you guys fix it, right? You're going to now, because now you have a problem, you can find the solution for it, right? So, for example, let's say you're not making progress because the study resources that you have are not effective, right? So, that could be a problem. So, if you have study resources, that are not helping you learn the material and not helping you understand the concepts and how to solve problems, you're not going to make progress and you're going to stop showing up, right? So that could be a big problem. So if you find yourself in that situation, then it's time to find a better study material, study material that will help you learn, right? And matches also your learning style, okay? Now, we do have courses, guys, so make sure that you check out our courses. Um, that can help you learn the material, stay consistent, and pass the FE exam. Now, here's something I want you guys to remember. When you're reflecting on your week, please be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up for missing study sessions. This exercise is like a reset button, right? So life happens and things come up. So the goal of this is to get you back on track and not dwell on setbacks. So if you're too hard on yourself, you might stop checking in. And we don't want that to happen because that means you might stop showing up. Tip number three, listen to something motivational every Monday. On Monday mornings, on your way to work, you can listen to something motivational. And this could be one of our interviews where students share tips and insights on how they pass their FE exams. Now, these can be very powerful reminders of where you want to be in the next few months and can also give you the boost you need to start your week strong. Real quick, guys, I want to invite you to something special that we're kicking off this January. Seven-day kickstart your FE prep for 2025. Once you sign up, you'll receive an email every day for seven days walking you through exactly what you need to do to start studying for the FE exam. If you want to join us and get the support you need to pass your FE exam in 2025, go ahead and sign up here and let's make 2025 your year. Tip number four, show up same time every day. See, consistency is easier when you have a routine and you might have to experiment with this one to find the best time for you to study. So it could either be early mornings or evenings after work. So for example, I recently interviewed two parents, Rashmi, who passed the FE mechanical exam, and Ron, who passed FE civil. Now, Rashmi preferred studying in the evenings. Meanwhile, Ron found evenings too exhausting. So he actually started waking up at 4 a.m. to study for his FE exam. Now, both of them had completely different schedules, but what they had in common was consistency. Now, personally, I wake up every day at 4 a.m. to get my most important work done before my baby wakes up. And during the day, I tackle tasks that require less focus. Now, my schedule does change when I'm filming. I generally prefer filming at night. So for example, right now, as I'm filming this video, it's 11.30 p.m. So the takeaway, guys, there's no one size fits all schedule. You're gonna have to listen to your body, find what works for you and just stick to that. And if you guys want to learn more about my schedule and how I wake up at 4 a.m., comment below schedule and I'll share that with you guys next.
Tip number five, review if you can't study. So if for whatever reason you guys can't show up and study, review your notes instead. This is so important for many reasons. One, you'll still feel productive. You'll be more likely to study the next day. You'll keep the exam on your mind and you'll reinforce what you have learned. So just remember when you don't feel like studying, just review your notes. And this is why it's so important to have good notes, right? Make sure that you guys, when you are taking notes, make sure they are organized and they're neat and organize them per subject because this will make your review sessions easier and more efficient. So that's it guys for today's video. So just remember, consistency is key to success. So show up every day guys, stay focused and trust the process. You got this, you can pass your FE exam. And when you do, please come back to this video and share that with us. We'd love to hear you guys' success stories. Now, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.